what's going on guys it's Kedar here and this is new super capacitor that I have recently got it is from Samoa brand and it is green cap EDLC DB series it's 2.7 volt 500 farad capacitor ok guys so here we are now with super capacitor and uh, let me show you the voltage that it has already it has already 1.68 volts uh, I charged it before uh, I go to the sleep and you know after 12 hours um, it remained that charge you know At uh, I charged it fully up to 2.7 volts and after 12 hours it, it dropped 1 volts uh, approximately you know and it has a quite a lot of amps already in it so let me show you let me got my ammeter so I'm into amps range now so let me do it quickly I, I will not put for a long time but just notice how much amp does it have 9 amps and uh, you know to charge this capacitor fully at uh, 1 amp I took about uh, 10 to 15 minutes near about and if I crank, crank the amp to up to 2.5 amps or 3 amps even then it can charge in 5 minutes even. so it can be good storage device for your project actually so let me quickly connect it to my power supply as you can see I have set it to 2.5 volts I am not giving it 2.7 volts because uh, I noticed that when I charge this capacitor to 2.7 volts with quite a lot amps it heated heats up with uh, 1 degree at a normal temperature so I will be sure may, means ensuring that it will be in a good condition so just for safety it is 2.5 volts and I am giving 1 amps right now and let's enable the output so let me connect the capacitor so here is the power that it is taking to charge as you can see it is taking 1.8 watts of power here is the charge that means it is watt per hour so it is increasing with time and it is right now 1.85 volts so it does take a lot of time to charge with this much current and you know this is consuming 9993 milliamps so it basically consumes all the energy that you given to it if you consider these batteries these batteries have very high equivalent series resistance that is ESR so that they doesn't charge uh, if, although if you give that much uh, current to them but this super capacitor can means basically consume all the energy that you given to it now I am going to increase the amps and as you can see I am taking it about to 1.5 amps so here is my 1.5 amps and as you can see it is consuming 1.492 amps so basically it, con it can take all the energy that you given to it so right now I am going to give 3 amps as you can see it is it is charging at 2.5 amps and my power supply is hissing somewhat so I might have to ensure the safety of my power supply also because it is just 
putting so much load on to my power supply you can see it is 2 amps and the capacitor is not heating up it is 33 degrees celsius and room temperature is same you can see it is somewhat starting to heating up room temperature is 33 degrees celsius and capacitor is as 34 degrees celsius ok so let's take a look at the power it is charging at 2 watt and we have reached the voltage so now it draw less and less milliamps of currents since it is charged at 2.5 volts and the power is also getting low it's charged so at 3 amps it it uh, charge very quickly as you can see the discharge rate on this cap are very high means now I'll, I will show you how much discharge it can do so let's put my multi my emitter okay so as you can see I'm not putting for a long time so please notice it it is 13 amps so that leads it hot quite hot ok so let's see the voltage it is 2.3 I notice that when I charge this capacitor at higher amp, amp range um, the capacitor seems to be charged but after 5 or 10 seconds later it dropped the voltage suddenly so that might be interesting ok so we have charge capacitor right here but uh, you know this is 2.7 volts means for what can you use this capacitor in a practical aspect so here is a cool application that I have think of so if you are interesting what this thing is this thing can convert 600 millivolts of input into 5 volts so that you can charge your cell phone and another USB power devices so right now I have connected my super capacitor to this converter and if you want to see the practical demos of this converter I have did great video on this so I will be linking down this video so please check out this video so let me show you the voltage of this converter now this thing is this thing should give me 5 volts so let's test it out where is my voltmeter as you can see I'll be getting 5 volts here so I can able to use my cell phone and charge the cell phone so let's test it out ok so I got the cable and let me ensure that it is connected properly you can see I just connected ok so moment of the truth it is charging now as you can see my phone is charging and I have tested this uh, current consumption of this capacitor so not the capacitor the converter and I found that it, it is consuming right now about 1 amp so my phone is charging at 1 amp so that is that is sufficient use to charge your phone you know this this is now charging with 5 watts and that's good actually ok guys so 
this super capacitor can be able to charge my phone right now you know this normal batteries that we are currently using cannot handle that much current to charge you know if you give 3 amps or higher amps of current to these batteries the batteries does not have ability to get all that charge and able to charge this will only charge at their specified current ranges so they doesn't quickly charge this fastly so to solve this problem we can surely use this super capacitor you know i have charged this super capacitor in 5 minutes and now my mobile phone can able to charge with this energy for 30 to 40 minutes and that will be quite lot of helpful you know for uh, people like they don't have time to charge their cell phones for a longer time to stay at their wall outlet and plug it in the wall socket charger they can just use this method to charge their cell phone for in 5 minutes and they can able to use this device like a power bank and that might be helpful so hope you like this idea friends and if you have any thoughts about this project please be sure to share this thought in the comments below and if you like this idea then please show thumbs up and goodbye guys